Double upload Matt in the building. What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day and amen. As you know, anytime we double upload on this channel, you gotta leave a like. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Earlier today when I uploaded, I asked for 350 likes within the first two hours if you wanna see a double upload, and you guys absolutely crushed it. Major shout out to you. You guys got over 350 likes within the first 50 minutes. Thank you guys so much for all the support, not just on that video, but every single video. It means the world to me, and if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button, helping your boy out. We on the the road to 80k and leave a like for more and without further ado let's dive straight into this video oh yeah guys sorry for the brief interruption but i need to address something on my previous video i said chet holgram exposes imani bates and everybody in the comments like yo he didn't expose him bro it's just a title in the video i didn't even say he exposed them bro i have to make titles like that you think somebody want to click on a video if it says oh chet holgram plays good against imani bates come on now Oh my goodness, if you did not watch Jaden Hardy completely go off and destroy Sierra Canyon last night, you missed out. This guy caught absolute fire in the second half and he had a span where he hit three ridiculous straight threes. This game was also the last of the biggest triple header we've ever seen before. It was Sierra Canyon versus Arenado. Arenado's a very talented team. They have Jaden Hardy, of course, and they also have Frankie Collins and many more. On the other hand, we know what Sierra Canyon's got. They got Bronny James and they also have Amari Bailey and some other good role players. Maybe it's just me, but it seemed as if Arenado had way more talent than them, but Sierra Canyon was holding their own and leading most of the game. Is this a stretch? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, but coming from me and what I saw last night and in previous games, I think, like I said, this is my opinion, that Jaden Hardy is the best shooter in the country. If he's open, he's making it. There's no doubt about it, but also if you're guarding him, he's still probably going to make it. And everybody's favorite part about him is his limitless range Damian Lillard and Stephen Curry shot. What makes Jaden so crazy and special is that normally players don't shoot a long range shot until they make two or three in a row and that's called a heat check. Jaden will pull a shot from the volleyball line after missing two straight. That's what makes him so lethal. Out of all the games last night, I know Chet and Imani was a good game, but this was the most entertaining and the best basketball. At the end of the first quarter, both teams were on pace to score 100. It wasn't just like that for the first quarter. At halftime, they kept up that pace too because they almost had 50 apiece. There was a lot of role players stepping up in this game for both teams, so that was a good thing to see as well. I'ma just be honest, we don't care about the role players. We only want to see the star players go off, and that's exactly what happened. Amari Bailey, even though he's younger than Jaden Hardy, he was proven that he's still one of the best players in the country in his class. He's very fast, and on TV, he looked way faster and quicker than what I've seen in the mixtapes and highlights. He can't shoot like Hardy just yet, but whenever Amari gets that jump shot on lockdown, it's going to be over. He's a great mid-range shooter and a great slasher and passer, but he's not a great shooter just yet. He really impressed me, looked all around great, and you couldn't ask for any more out of him. Bronny he was very solid in my opinion too. He gave them some valuable minutes. I know he's a starter, but he's not a true scorer on that team just yet. I don't think Bronny's going to be one of the main options on this team up until maybe later in the second half of the season, but I hope he gets to where he scores and looks to shoot more. I was kind of disappointed in what I saw from Bronny out there in the court. Nothing he did, but where the coaching staff had him playing. For you guys that watch the game, you know what I'm talking about. He spent most of the time on the offensive side of the ball, spotting up in the corner. It wound up working out because he did hit three threes in this game, but one of them was late in the shot clock and it was all on himself. This wasn't a design play. He was running out of time before the half and threw up a pretty good shot, so we gotta give him some credit. Let me know in the comment section what you think but I think Bronny should be dribbling the ball up the court and being one of the main point guards on the team. Or maybe not a main point guard, but at least a secondary option. He's a playmaker. He's just like his dad. He has the most insane vision and IQ. So why stick him in the corner where he can't use that? You're not going to get the best out of Bronny if you're just shoving him in the corner. He's at his best when he's attacking the rim. He doesn't need his ball in the hands all the time, but come on now, let him bring the ball up the court. With that being said, as much as I would have liked to see Bronny being a point guard and a facilitator on the team, I got to give Amari some credit. He was doing a fantastic job of doing that. Bailey was the heart of this team last night. He was doing everything on offense creating for others and on defense he looked okay it almost looked like amari was trying to do too much on offense but it only looked that way because there's not that many scores on the team on the flip side on the other hand for arenado it looked like they had multiple scores that could score whenever and however they wanted to i know we're kind of raving on Jaden hardy and amari bailey but do not sleep on frankie collins because that dude can play as well whenever Jaden wasn't going off and shooting his crazy three-pointers and attacking the rim frankie was right there to pick up the slack he hit some tough and i mean 
mean, tough fadeaway mid ranges that blew my mind. And a part that's not going to show up on the stat sheet is his hustle. There was multiple times in this game where Frankie got loose balls and rebounds just because he had more heart than the other team. He showed that he's got some serious bounce, he can finish at the rim, and he's a great scorer as well. Is Frankie Collins as good as Jaden Hardy? Probably not, but it's much closer than you think. The great argument about that though is they're on the same team, so I'm sure they're glad to have one another. The first two games last night, they were impressive, don't get me wrong, and I enjoyed watching them. But this third game, it literally got me hyped. I know there wasn't fans there, but you could just feel the electricity in the gym whenever Jaden got the ball when he was hot in the second half. He literally, and I mean literally, had me sitting up on the couch glued into the TV. And when he would make those shots, I was just shaking my head because I couldn't believe it. We sometimes forget that these kids are just in high school and they're doing NBA shots and moves. Overall, this was a high scoring game and it was a great offensive battle. The final score was Arenado 89 and CBC, which is Sierra Canyon 83. I've seen some places say that Jaden Hardy had 39 and others say 41, but just for this video, I'm gonna say 41. He wasn't just jacking up shots either, guys. He was doing this at an efficient rate. He shot 13 for 26 from the field, seven threes, and was six for 10 from the free throw line, which isn't too hot, but it is what it is. His star teammate, Frankie Collins, also pitched in a very quiet 19 points and seven assists. On the flip side, Sierra Canyon star player, obviously, which was Imari Bailey, had 29 points and six assists and shot 11 for 21 from the field. A lot of people were very quick to go on Twitter and say Amari Bailey a ball hog and he's not passing and blah 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 blah. I don't see where people are coming from when they say that. I thought he played pretty great out there and got everyone involved. To also go along with Amari Bailey, some dude named Chance Westry, never heard of him, had 17 points and 7 assists and Shai Odom had 22 points and 10 rebounds. Like I said, there was a lot of role players on Sierra Canyon stepping up to play. It wasn't enough to win, but I saw a lot of great things out of both teams. There's not really too much to take away from this game. Jaden Hardy lived up to the hype and even some more. Amari Bailey proved why he's one of the best players in his class and Bronny looked decent out there. And oh yeah, of course, Frankie Collins also proved why he's a highly ranked recruit. Everybody played good and there's nothing to really criticize or talk bad about. Let me know what you guys think about this entire game and which was the best game last night in your opinion. This one was the best to watch in my opinion. I enjoyed watching Mikey's game, but it wasn't an offensive shootout. So drop your comments down below. With all that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the video, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all. Peace.